Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel Kiara Castle. Today I'm going to be showing you what I eat in a day as a vegan as well as my vegan grocery haul this week. And before I get started, I want to just mention a few things. So first off, thank you guys so much for 600 subscribers. I cannot believe we hit it. And then also stay tuned for the end because I will be announcing today's shout out as well as the reason why I eat honey as a vegan. Now I know this is a very controversial topic, but stay to the end, hear me out. And yes, yeah, so without further ado, thank you again and let's hop right into the video okay so this morning i started off with a sweet potato protein bowl and basically i started off with peeling my sweet potato and this took me a while i was on the phone you can't really tell but i had the phone on my ear and yeah it just took me longer to peel the potato because i was trying to focus on being on the phone as well as peeling my potato And right here, as y'all can see, like I said in my last video, I need a new knife. This knife has not been sharpened in like a good four or five years. And it is, it's time. Look, look how, look how I'm struggling there. Look, look at that. It should not take all of that to cut a sweet potato. But look, see these small little pieces? Oh gosh, I can't wait to get my new knife. And then here I'm just finding all the little pieces that need to be cut and cutting those as well. And then right here, I'm getting my garlic ready. I only use one clove. Just a tip, if you like have trouble taking that thing off, the plastic or the part on the outside, just use a big knife and like smash a little bit and it makes the paper come off, come off so much easier. Now, like I said, I was still on the phone here and like my shoulder is holding up my phone and I was like really struggling here. But um, trust me, it usually comes off way easier than this. And then right here, I'm just cutting up my garlic. And yeah. Next, I go in and cut up my plant-based sausage. If you're interested in the exact type of sausage it is and the ingredients, uh, stay till the end because I will be showing you my grocery haul um, and then this sausage is included. Funny story, when I was eating this sausage, I had to go back to the package and be like, hold on, is this sausage? Because the texture is just like sausage. It cuts like sausage. It tastes like sausage. The texture is just like sausage Jaden, they nailed it only thing i did not like is that it tasted like the package but other than that yeah so right here i'm turning turning on my stove to medium i'm pouring in my olive oil so that i can get my sweet potatoes in there and get those fried up right here i threw in two just to see how hot the oil was to see if they were ready to go in and for me they were like i waited like a few more seconds and then i ended up throwing the rest in because they started bubbling and then I put in a few so I wouldn't get popped. And then, yeah, you'll see me putting in the rest of the sweet potato slices. Or cubes. <laughs> Next, I move on to like the other, other part of the stir fry, but I have some baby spinach. I should have put more because it shrunk up so much. I forgot. Well, I didn't forget. I knew that spinach shrinks up, but I needed more. And then here I am putting my sausage and my garlic in. Don't mind me using my cap to put the stuff on. It was just easier for me. It was right there at the moment. And then I'm putting in salt, pepper, or Himalayan salt, pepper, and I put onion powder in so that is this because I already have the garlic and I didn't want to cut up an onion um, I kind of like onion powder sometimes more in this type of stuff and then here I am with my just egg I wish I had more eggs too but it did the job so I cooked my just egg with all of that stuff and then this is how I like my sweet potatoes I would have cooked them a little longer but I was like, you know what? No care. Today, you're not going to have burnt sweet potatoes, okay? So I got regular old sweet potatoes. I love these things so much. I'm probably going to make some more after this video. And it's nighttime, so I love sweet potatoes. It's such a great snack.
yeah here I am just you know getting the last few pieces out for all my perfectionists out there I'm sure that felt satisfying but here is the final product and yeah this is my stir fry you can put tahini on top or whatever sauces you have and yeah that's what I ate next I well actually I kind of ate this with my breakfast or a little bit after but if you watch my previous videos, you know that I am a fan of Good Belly Probiotics. I only drink half a cup per day just because I don't want to drink too much and mess up my digestive system. Next, I am making a boba Oreo cookies and cream shake. This was so good. So I started off with two and a half cups of water to, to a fourth a cup of boba balls. So I put the boba balls into the boiling water and I let those rise to the top. I let them sit for about eight minutes after they rose to the top in the in the hot water and then here I am using honey guys please don't hop on me just stay to the end of the video to find out why I eat honey but I did honey and agave for my boba mix and then I put a little bit of water in that not too much water because I wanted a thick syrup today um, and then you'll see me put more agave this here is the agave right here I put more agave than honey I don't eat a lot of honey but like I said stay to the end to find out why I eat honey as a vegan And this right here is just so satisfying to me like I don't know when the water and like the honey and agave mixes and it's like fully combined like this consistency is just ugh, it's so pretty I love a, a nice golden color and then here I am putting more agave not too much I just wanted it to be a little thicker and then I'm also just using my eye for this I'm eyeing it And this is the consistency you're looking for for the boba. So here I'm pouring my boba in so I can let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes in the mixture so that it can absorb the taste of the honey and the agave. And yeah, just mixing it up so they can be coated very well and make sure they, you know, they get all up in that honey and agave. It was so amazing guys. Let me just tell you, I am such a huge boba fan. Or tap I say tapioca, but I've been saying boba lately because... I'm in Virginia now and people here say boba and people in Texas say tapioca really. So yeah, um, here I am filling up my cup with my boba. I wanted to put a lot of the juice too that I made into the mixture because sometimes I like just having that extra sweetener in my drinks. And then right here I'm making the actual shake. So I'm using a hand, about two handfuls of ice, one cup of almond milk. Well, this is actually almond milk coconut milk blend. And then just a dash of vanilla extract, not too much. Next, I put in a whole bunch of Oreos. It depends on your taste. You can put way less, like you could put two or three, but I love a, like an Oreo tasting drink. And yeah, I mix that on up. And then it went from this color to this color. And as you can see, you can see it falling, which means it wasn't thick enough for me. So I had to put more ice in. And when I put more ice in, I put about a handful more. It got really thick to the point where when it stopped, like right here, you can't really see it stopping and falling because it was so thick. And that's how I like my smoothies. I like thick, thick, thick Oreo smoothies. And yeah, I kind of like it because it kind of gave an ombre effect when I was done with it. Mainly because of the boba and the juice at the end. So like, I was like, this is cute. I like this. It was so tasty. I almost got up and made another one, but I'm like, no care. Go drink some water. <laughs> so I drank water after this. And yeah, that is the final product. And this, also the, the boba fills me and it's usually like a lunch for me. But last but not least, I made some nachos, some homemade nacho cheese and stuff. With just these materials, I left the cashews to soak overnight so they, oh my gosh, they went from like half a cup to a whole cup. That's how much, that's how like, that's how soft they got. And then I used about one cup of almond milk. I put in some pepper. Followed by salt. Followed by some onion powder and then some garlic powder, of course. 
and then turmeric for the yellow color uh, oh and lemon I forgot to put that in the picture earlier of like everything I used but I did use half of a lemon just because I was like hold up I kind of want mine to taste like lemony I guess <laughs> and it just gives that that is the extra acidity but yeah I mixed that up and when it was finished it looked a little bit like this now for me this was it, it was really thick I should have put it above but it was really thick and then I needed it to be a little more yellow for my liking so I put more turmeric in it then I let it mix for about a minute more and this was the final color and consistency and look oh wow doesn't it look like nacho cheese it's so crazy if i had a better blender it probably would have looked more like nacho cheese but yeah so here i'm using the cauliflower chips remember i said i didn't like these chips in my last video well this nacho cheese made me love it i love these chips now but only when they have something on them and just a look at the consistency amazing i actually warmed it up because i let it sit for a long time because i was like washing dishes i was like oh crap i gotta eat so i poured some on top that's why it looks like that and then i'm putting diced tomatoes on top i didn't really want anything else like jalapenos or anything i just really wanted diced tomatoes i just love the taste of tomatoes and yeah that was the final product it was so good i can't even tell y'all how good it was but now we're gonna go ahead oh i forgot i put the final thing in um, a mason jar and moving on to my grocery haul so this is my haul this week as you saw on this side so i got two three liter bottles of deer park spring water spring water is good for you but i don't like the taste of spring water so i always get lemons to put in them i have a lot of lemons in the fridge but ugh, i hate spring water but it's so good for you oreos because they're vegan and they're amazing i always have oreos in the pantry kale because or three bunches of kale because i went i know i said i wasn't gonna make any more curry but guys i cannot go another week without curry i need my curry so i'm gonna make curry again this week i got some carrots i'm making vegan carrot cake and yeah this should be enough carrots for like the whole thing and also the pumpkin pie spices for the vegan carrot cake funny enough this pumpkin spice was like four dollars but the other ones were like eight which is kind of expensive because it's kind of small if you can see it in comparison to my hand it's really small and then I got my vegan butter because I'm running out of vegan butter. And then I'm gonna make some plantain chips with these two plantains. Thank God they're green. I hope they stay green for the next three days because I don't plan on making my plantain for another three days. I got three sweet potatoes because I always have sweet potatoes in my pantry. It's just, you know, a great snack to have. And then I love sweet potato fries. If you didn't watch my last video, by the way, I did make loaded sweet potato fries. So definitely check that out. I'll leave it um, above in the like cards. And then garlic because what's life without garlic I got some organic bananas fun fact these taste better <laughs> than normal bananas plus they last longer and they freeze very well regular bananas or non-organic bananas they don't freeze as well as organic bananas but that's just my opinion and then I got some grapeseed oil because I don't know why I why I went so long without grapeseed oil it's like the best neutral oil to have it's a vegan and I've been cooking with olive oil so I'm excited now this was like ten dollars for this but well well, I guess there's no but it was ten dollars <laughs> it was a lot so that's these two were probably two of the most expensive items and the meats but we'll get there um two most expensive items in the haul and then I got my oat bread look I tried the Dave's Killer Bread guys last week it was good I wouldn't buy it again if I had to but um yeah this is just so much better to me plus it's like oats and nuts and it's super soft so I'm probably it's probably gonna be my go-to bread I'll put one in the freezer and leave one out and also that's another thing I did freeze this bread because I do always get two at a time so last time I got it it like unfroze really well so so great bread to have in the fridge or freezer and pantry. I got a pineapple because I want to make some pineapple juice or some kind of something so that I could add to my boba. I wanted to do pineapple mango, but they ran out of mangoes at the store. So yeah. And then four cans of diced tomatoes, like I said in my last haul. I always have diced tomatoes in my pantry as well as coconut milk and garbanzo beans, but those are already in my pantry because I got them last week. Now, <laughs> this stuff right here. <laughs> this stuff is kind of expensive, but um, I, I really want to try the fake meats. I see how they have like the red 
it's supposed to like mock blood and I'm guessing that's probably from beets I'm pretty sure I didn't even really check the ingredients but these are the ingredients for the fake meat no meat it's literally just like stuff oh there's no beets in it I'm surprised I wonder what the red comes from all oh, the paprika I don't know let me stop guessing but it feels like fake meat and everything like it really does feel like sausage now I've never been a real bacon fan so I hope that I like fake bacon better because yeah I'm, I'm excited and it's 60% less sodium than pork bacon that's exciting let's see what the ingredients are let's see so soy and wheat is in it and yeah the ingredients look pretty solid no meat i'm so excited serving size one slice that's crazy well i guess i'll be eating one slice of bacon whenever i make it and then last but not least i got these because everyone talks about how good these garden 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 i don't know how to say it garden chicken strips are let me know comment below how you say this because i really don't know how <laughs> but the garden chicken strips let's just check the ingredients on this because i'm all about i don't know i just like checking the ingredients so the ingredients look pretty solid on here too nothing too out of control i know what all these names mean and yeah i'm excited what is the serving size a third of the package oh, okay so that means that these are pretty good i am so excited super excited so yeah that is my grocery haul for this week and i didn't have to get milk and all that stuff and flour because i got it last week but yeah i almost forgot to show y'all what they didn't have this week so i really wanted to try the beyond burger patties because everyone tries them i am so sad they didn't have them and then the red that was the mangoes they didn't have any mangoes no pure vanilla extract i was just getting extra because i'm running out so i just had to be gener generous on how much i use this week they didn't have any grapes at the store um well white seedless grapes i only like those because one time i choked in the seed and it just wasn't pretty okay it wasn't pretty <laughs> But yeah, that's the only grapes I like. And then the next thing, the Reynolds Cut Right Wax Paper. That's the parchment paper. I'm running out, but I have foil. I just don't like using foil when I cook, so that's sad. And then last but not least, they didn't have like the ground beef, like the fake ground beef, the Simple Truth Emerged Plant Base. And it was the only one they had in store. But I mean, the good thing is like I saved a lot of money. So my order before, everything was 90 90 literally 90 90 And after it was like 65 31 well, 65 30 something or 65 50 something it was 65 something okay and like i said the most important things here was that grapeseed oil that pumpkin pie spice and these meats but if i didn't have those i probably would have spent probably 30 dollars on everything else okay so the part you've been waiting for why do i eat honey well to be honest i eat it for my allergies i eat it for health purposes i know that it's a big controversial topic but i do obtain my honey ethically you can obtain it ethically through local producers and farmers and beekeepers who actually do it ethically and for me when i do go without like having honey in my system my allergies tend to flare up and this includes even when I'm taking my Allegra or my allergy pills for the month they just flare up really bad I tried going without honey for two weeks to see how that would go I got really sick so that is why I do eat honey and then also I want to point out that sometimes obtaining I learned this from plant-based princess she's also a black vegan youtuber I learned that when you're buying maple syrup and agave it's coming from thousands of miles away it has all these preservatives and all of this like you know all this stuff in it all these sugars and honey has so many natural components components that are so good for you so um yeah it's like way more sustainable sometimes depending on where you're at and where you're getting your honey from to eat honey so this is why i eat honey i am so considered vegan though because my diet is plant-based right a lot of people veer away from the vegan community because a lot of people are always attacked for eating honey but you just never know what someone's going through you don't know their health or anything like that so that's why i eat honey so now that that's covered let's get into today's shout out so today's shout out goes to it goes to the foxy vegan so thank you so much for your comment about your favorite like breakfast item being vegan breakfast sausage i bought some made some in like a breakfast sweet potato scramble and it was so good so thank you so much so shout out to you foxy vegan for a chance to be shouted out in the next video make sure you comment below your favorite grocery store and why so with that being said guys thank you for watching this video let me know how you liked it let me know if you want to see more what i eat in the days or would you rather see more grocery hauls or both let me know also don't forget to like comment and subscribe and with that being said, we can end this video right here. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye!